Again, with new information about the devastating storms that moved through parts of Georgia and South Carolina on Tuesday. The woman who died in Bryan County has now been identified as 66-year-old Belinda Thompson of Ellabel. WSCD's Brian Ray joins us live from Lanier Primary School in Bryan County with how volunteers are uh, coming forward to help those who survived but lost their homes. Brian, what's the well, Ben and Tina, volunteers tell me they are actually overwhelmed with donations from people here in Pembroke and surrounding areas, but collecting supplies is just the first step in helping this community rebuild from a storm that's leaving some without a home. It just really made me sick to my stomach to see um, the damage that was done. Wendy Futch with Bryan County Family Connection is a lifelong resident of the county. She's now organizing donations for victims of the tornado and is thankful for the outpouring of support. These are our neighbors and these are the people that I grew up with. Um, these are the, the people that um, my, my nephews go to school with and so we're just really thankful to be able to put our arms around them and reach them and t you know, tell them that we love them and show them that we love them. Since Wednesday, they've been unloading trucks and trailers full of hygiene products, food and household supplies. Volunteers say after the storm, it's all about coming together. It is a blessing to be a blessing to go out and and be able to help people um, and especially so close to, to I'm not from this community, but I'm in the community right next right next door. Um, so this was real close to home for me. These are my neighbors and friends and I just want to help in whatever way I can. It means a lot to put a smile on other people's face when they are. Uh, like lose their homes or something. We're told at least 60 families are in need of assistance and there's enough at Lanier Primary to support them for months. But the work is just beginning. The long term recovery is going to take a while for these families. And so we are looking for um, monetary donations. So if folks are in a position to help in that capacity, we know that these families are going to it's going to take time to rebuild. This Saturday, starting at 9 a.m., families in need can come here to Lanier Primary to pick up the supplies they need. There will also be mental health resources available. Now, if you'd like to make a monetary donation, we have a list of where you can do that on WSAV.com and on the WSAV app. Live in Pembroke, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3 on your side. Brian, thank you. you